I'm gonna show you how to make a virtual machine. So the first thing you need to do is realize what uh, version of Windows you have. So go open the start, put a uh, system. Once you create system or control panel, you click on your control panel and you check. We can see here the system type is 64 bit operating system. And okay. Therefore, we're gonna go to VirtualBox, we're gonna Google it or Bing it or search it. Go to Downloads and download your Windows host. Once you install it, then you're gonna need to want your, uh, to download your uh, ISO or disk image of the VirtualBox, uh, the machine that you wanna get. So we get on top on the search bar and we can look for Windows 10 ISO. Uh, we're gonna see a Microsoft page. We download the Windows 10 disk image. Then um, here is it. Looking for it to install Windows 10 on your PC. You can download them and run uh, the media creation tool. So you download the media creation tool from here. And well, you're gonna open it. Media creation tool. Let's see. Come on. Media creation tool. We totally have it on downloads. Oh, well, see. Okay, then you're gonna have to run it. Once you run it, it's gonna tell you an app from the internet wants to run on this computer. You say like yes. Then it's gonna take you uh, through this uh, wizard in which you just gotta select. Um, that you want an ISO, as in I as in Ignatius, or Ivan, then S as um, uh, Solomon, or Santiago, and uh, O as an Oscar, or Omar, or O. <laughs> oh la la, ooh la la, okay. And here is create an installation, you go, select the language, here you might want to take out the, the recommended option and if you want 32 or both and which edition then you go and then ISO file and continue but I'm gonna go back because I have already done that next thing you gotta do is, well you gotta have to select your BIOS because then it's gonna give you uh, this weird option wait let me show it to you real quick it's about an error message in a virtual box. I have two virtual machines Please here. Please go to check. Let's start one of Furu them. Levi. Levi. After starting and that's the error that you should get. VTX so you need to oh, turn off your... Uh, it's not available. Oh, well, and you go to and settings and it's not available. And system, delete. And then, problem. well, you restart your computer and whenever it's starting before it initializes yeah, you press F2, press F2 or, or FT, F7, F10 or the assist if it's a BIOS that you have the assist button you hold it and then you're gonna enter the BIOS menu once you enter the BIOS menu you have to go uh, it's gonna have what is this the different the stuff on top so with left and right you switch through uh, math, uh, tweak, advance, edge monitor, root, and all of those. And with up and down, you check out like the different settings. So you, there's gonna be one like secure virtual machine or enable acceleration. You have to read. And once you have enable acceleration on your uh, BIOS, you're gonna put save, which is gonna be in the exit, save changes and exit. Once you have save changes and exit on your BIOS. You're gonna have to open the virtual box that you have done and put new. Then let's create a new name. Let's put um, I don't know W10X. Um, yeah, W10X. I don't know. And let's call it what we want. Then the version of Windows. Okay. We keep going. Uh, 1024 shall be okay. 1024, and then you put next hard disk. Um, okay, then you put BDI. 
you press next then dynamic, dynamic, dynamically allocate it next uh, whatever uh, size you want it to take next and where you want it uh, well you could have there uh, as to be in an external storage device and then we double click it once it's double clicked it's gonna tell us where did we save the ISO so we're gonna go to this little browser over here it's gonna get up and from here you choose the windows that you or the ISO version that you want it's an ISO file you put open and then you're literally ready for installation you put start and up it goes in here is where it, it, that like Merry Christmas virtual box is where the error will have had if you haven't uh, restarted your computer well um, set up the BIOS to allow um, uh, acceleration from your Intel card and here you just go through this wizard and just put install now and your Windows is ready to be installed uh, if you can go through this wizard until the end uh, you already got yourself a like a virtual machine inside your Windows and this has been zero. Oh wait it's like I don't have a product key at the moment so we just Go Windows 10 Pro. Home. I mean, I want the home. I, I think I have the home. I don't have the Pro. And click next. Let me just record it for you. You accept the ten rooms of services. You obviously. Oh yeah, that was an special effect. I just edited it and read it. Uh, okay, again. Yeah. Let's go with um. The term this current starting Windows installation, remove the installation media and restart your computer so that Windows starts normally. Then insert the installation media and restart and upgrade. Do not select custom advanced. Uh, let's try it again. Apparently, let's see. I just put next. I guess it wants me to be pro. To perform an upgrade. Oh, okay. Now the third time we put install now. <laughs> <laughs> and what actually happens is like I don't have a product key. I'm glad I stayed with you. Okay. Well let's go with Pro I mean and then costume. And now I go with home and costume. You just need to click and click and try everything. Accept the license. Go next. Costume. And then in the costume you select the drive that you want. <laughs> Finally you put next. And is this the final one? Oh, and there you go. And congratulations, you have installed a Windows 10. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this. Sorry for that last uh, drag, but we got through it. Sometimes, like in life, there's difficulties, but you just need to take it one step at a time, check out what answers you have already done, and go through it. Thank you very much. It's been Ciro Pascasio, and I hope. Um, you can click and subscribe down below and keep rock and rolling that techno lost like hack five says. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get <laughs> what is this? Issues with that, sorry hack five. Uh well I send uh, regards from Miami as a Mexican.